Experts estimate that Ghana's leadership deficit cost the country $30,000 per citizen. To address and drive rapid economic growth, the China-Europe International Business School, SEEBS, is vigorously training business executives and has since recognized 93 students in various fields of leadership at a 2024 graduation ceremony. These graduates have been tasked with being catalysts for change in their respective industries. Speaking at the event, Chinese Ambassador Tong Defa urged African nations to prioritize human capital development, highlighting China's partnership with the continent in education and agriculture. Uh, necessity for African side to develop its human resources and talents. So uh, during the summit uh, in Beijing, the focus summit in Beijing, Chinese government and together with African side, we mapped out a blueprint for the next three years program, especially there is a special action plan for, for the uh, development of human resources. We will, you know, uh, have some exchanges with uh, 1,000 African party members to exchange views on governance, and we will provide like uh, over 60,000 training opportunities for African people, you know, in, in various areas. Agriculture, uh, governance, we, we want to exchange views on governance, but in the culture of uh, uh, agri agriculture and infrastructure building and technicians. A visiting professor in leadership at SEEBS, P.K. Richardson attributed Ghana's current economic and environmental struggles to poor leadership. Achieving from what we see and you see, you yourself see, if prayer is what the thing that a lot of people drink from, they don't have fiber water, and is that polluted with chemicals? Are you happy with it? Nobody is happy with it. But the question is, why is something not being done about it? Leaders are the people who have got the power to do things. You and I, what power have you got? If somebody is doing that, can I go and stop them? If you see that it's dangerous, and yet we have people in power, they are doing that. You answer the question for us. SEEB's Executive Director, Professor Matthew Chemeni, underscored the importance of a collective effort to address Africa's human capital and leadership challenges. It's not about training. It's not just about training. It's the right training. That's where the skills come in to identify the needs we have as a continent or as a country. And then to be able to train people. Because if you look at our missing link, it's actually manufacturing and value addition. And that is why I think China's approach is different because China's approach is, number one, is about impact. And what we are doing here as a school is to be able to take our African entrepreneurs to go and learn from China, and then we bring the Chinese entrepreneurs into Africa. Some of the graduates, already leaders in their field, vow to tackle Africa's human capital challenges in their own unique ways. For Joy News, Carlos Caloni, Accra.